Hi, my name is Chad Adams. I work for Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm creating this video to demonstrate a gotcha that I found with Git script parameter and how it behaves differently between FileMaker 10 and FileMaker 11. The examples in this video are not necessarily endorsements for the techniques used, but if you're like me, you see a lot of different techniques and this is one I ran into recently. Let me start by demonstrating the issue. I've got FileMaker 10 open now. I'll open my sample file. We're going to create a new window. I'm in a pause loop script right now. I'll show you that in a second. Continue, and I get the script parameter and whatever the parameter is holding at this time. Close this. Switch to FileMaker 11. Open the same file, same button, same pause loop. Continue, and now my script parameter is blank. Let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, let's take a little closer look and see what's what's causing this. Um, I'm just going to explain how this file is set up so that you can see what's happening and better understand how to watch out for this in your own solutions or rather in, in solutions that you inherit as I did. So first we have a button here calling a script passing a uh, simple text parameter and then on my pop-up window we've got a button that exits the current script calling a secondary script and as its parameter it passes the function get script parameter. This is where the the difference is. In FileMaker 10 it's able to um, get this script parameter out of memory from the pause first script before the second script is ran, and then when it passes it, it has that, and it passes it to the second script. If I make a 11, um, that first script gets canceled before the, or it seems to get canceled before the script parameter can be loaded from the button, and <clears throat> as a result, that second script doesn't ever get the parameter passed to it. So let's take a look at that um, in script debugger. So there's script debugger, there's data viewer, We'll look at script parameter. We call this. I just threw the new window stuff off into a separate um, script so we didn't have to clutter the, the window with that. Here we are stuck in our pause loop. You can see the get script parameter function currently holds important information. As soon as I hit the continue button, the get script parameter goes clear. And now we're not into the second um, script yet, and perhaps that's you know kind of the underlying cause here. I'm not sure exactly. But as we go into this, you can see that the um, the first script is off the stack now because we exited out of it, um, and script parameter is still blank. It's not not available. Of course, we get it blank in the show dialog. If we go back to FileMaker 10 and just show the difference behavior there. Um, so here we are in FileMaker 10, still looking at script parameter in the data viewer. I'll do the pop-up window. Skip past that one. Now we're in our pause loop. Get script parameter holds important information. Hit the continue button and get script parameter still holds important information. You can see here that the first script is in fact off the stack as well, so we are into the second script. And as I step through it, it shows important information. Okay, as a quick wrap up, let's just talk about one of the ways we can fix this issue. Um, here we go. Example one instead of leaving the, the script parameter just hanging out in memory, we're going to throw it into a variable at the very beginning here. So we'll set this sp for script parameter. There we go. Save that. Close it. Close that. Go to my pop-up window. Change this button. Instead of throwing the script parameter as a, the function, we'll throw the variable. Now I purposely used a, uh, a script variable there instead of a global variable um, because you know, we all know the global variable is going to retain its, its values and be available practically the time we want it. So, so I wanted to throw a script variable just to show that that solves this problem as well without cluttering um, your system with additional global variables sticking out there. So first of all, we'll demonstrate that that solved our problem. There's our important information that came through. Now let's look at it with debugger on and data viewer. And we'll run it again. Set the variable. I can go over to the current tab to see there's my variable. Holds important information. I'll stay on watch for a second so we can see that the script parameter, in fact, uh, gets cleared out just like before. This is our new window. We're stuck in a pause loop. I hit continue. Script parameter is gone. The script variable is gone as well because we are not, we're no longer in that first script. So the script, um, variable is gone. However, whenever I go a step further, 
into the second script. I don't have the script variable because that was a part of the first script, but my script parameter now um, has that important information because it got passed as a, as a call from the button. And then my dialog comes up. So that's just one of the gotchas that I found in regards to get script parameter and how it behaves differently from FileMaker 10 to FileMaker 11. Hope it helps you.